Hey guys, this is Ray, the general manager at Sahara Coins in Las Vegas. We deal with a lot of interesting stuff here from gold, silver, to numismatics. We also deal with some interesting customers. We're a small group with a big heart. And depending on who you're talking to, some say we're golden. So at Sahara Coins, we do a lot of business, both online at saharacoins.com and in our eBay store. Now, the biggest part of that is once we sell something, we've got to package it and make sure it gets to our customers safely. So we take pride in wrapping things up, making sure that the items are there, really taking you know every precaution we can to make sure that everybody receives their items the way they should be. Hey guys, I know this is not our normal meeting. Um, we got quite the email last night from a customer who's pretty upset. Well, apparently I uh, you know, received some information from a customer who uh, said that he got a package from us that was empty, simply an empty box. Now, I have no choice at this point but to research what exactly happened, whether the item was put in the box or whether we really did mess this up and not send him the right item. All right guys, so what's up? I'm gonna go ahead and read the email to you that the customer sent. Uh, to whom it may concern, I received my order today from what should have been a coin. Instead, I received an empty box. What kind of sorry excuse for customer service is this? Even a farm animal could place a coin in an envelope. Maybe you should reevaluate your shipping policy to include placing the item in the package. I'll be coming to your store this week to collect either my item or a full refund, and I don't expect any pushback. Sincerely, your pissed off customer. Damn. All right, first and foremost, who shipped that? package. I did. Andrew. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, the rest of you guys can go ahead and get back to work. Andrew, you and I, we got to figure this out. Alright. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later. Yep. I mean, all the guys here are like family, so anytime that I have to actually sit down and reprimand, so to speak, anybody or question the integrity of the work that they did, I really start having a hard time. I mean, that's not a conversation I like to have, but unfortunately, it has to be done. And in this situation, I wanna hear Andrew's side of the story before we go any further with this. All right, man, so you're sure you packed that coin? I'm positive, I'm absolutely positive. So as I'm sure you've already figured, this isn't a play to against sports. We've got cameras all over the store. You can check the tapes if you want. Yeah. There's no doubt in your mind that this coin went in the package and went to this customer. No, the, a coin that price, I, I remember shipping it. All right, then I'm gonna go check the tapes. I'm gonna see what I can find, and as soon as I find you packing the coin, I'm gonna come grab you so we can take a look at it. All right. I have no choice but to look over the footage and make sure that the item was in the box. We've got the coverage, now it's just a matter of if he did his part. My name's Andy, and I've been at Sahara Coins for about two years now. And one of the main things that we do at the store is buy and sell numismatic coins, or collectible coins. Going into Sahara Coins today, I found some coins in my grandmother's house, and I'm hoping there were some money, because I got a lot of stuff to buy for this baby. Hi, my name's Hi. Andy. What can I do for you today? Uh, we're being at my grandmother's house. We found a bunch of coins, and I was hoping you could tell me what they were. Okay, we'll see what we have here. We've got three Morgan dollars and a Lincoln cent. And this Lincoln cent is a 1943 okay. bronze. Well, that's pretty significant. Uh, that could be a very valuable coin. Oh, really? Yeah, there's only known, like, 11 known to exist. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, something this bag could be worth as much as $100,000 or more. $100,000? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look, something this large of a value, let me get Adrian to come and take a second look at it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Hey, here's your coins back. And we'll get Adrian. Alright, thank All you. Right. right back. When we are buying a potentially rare or valuable coin, I like to get the second opinion and advice of Adrian, one of our most senior numismatists. Okay, hey Adrian. I've got a customer over there with a looks like a very valuable coin. You wanna come and take a look at it for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah thanks. Good. 
I'm the senior new Mr. Tiss here at Sahara Coins. I've been here about seven years. Here at the shop, we see a lot of great things. A lot of counterfeits, a lot of wide variety of you know US coins and US currency. The guys here, they come to me you know, for high ticket items and anything they have questions on. Hi, this is Adrian. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what do you have here today? Bunch of coins. See this guy. Where did you get this? We were cleaning at my uh, grandma's house and we found a bunch of coins. You know what this is? No. This is like a 1943 bronze penny. I mean, these are very rare. Yeah. Very rare. I mean, according to the PCGS price guide, there's only 10 to 15 of these No. Oh, really? These could be well worth over $200,000. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm not. It's crazy. Let's check this out. So first we're going to weigh it, okay? Let's okay. see what the weight is. According to this, the scale, that this coin is. For getting the email from the upset customer, uh, you know, I've sat down with Andrew and discussed it with him, and he says that he did put it in the package. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and review the tapes and see what I can do about locating exactly where that coin went. All right, man, I get the tape pulled up here, kind of searching through it for, uh, you know, when you ship the coin. So let me know when you ship it here. Oh look, there it is right there. Yep, you put it in the box. Alright. Alright. So I reviewed all the tapes and Andrew shipped the coin. So at this point, to be quite honest with you, I have no idea what's going on here. Man, you definitely packaged the coin. I know, dude, I told you. You know I wouldn't do that, something like that. I think there may be an issue on the customer's end. Maybe he misplaced the coin. But on our end, we did our job. It was taped, it was sealed. The package went out. Wow, according to this, the scale, this coin is. Wow. Unfortunately, this coin is not authentic. This is not a real uh, 1943 bronze penny. No, 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 no way. Are you sure? Positive. Are you sure? Positive. My grandma collected coins over the years. She never collected anything fake. Well, the reason I can tell you why it's not real, this actually has to weigh 3.11 grams. I got a scale right here. And in 1943, they made steel pennies. Lots of them, over 600 million. Mm. They're very, very common. You know, so the weight of this coin actually weighs the weight of a steel penny. So that particular area, this coin's not real. You sure? Not real. Alright. I'm very, very sorry. Thanks. You got it. Oh, you know, I wish I had better news for you. Alright, thank you. You got it. Occasionally here at the shop, we do see counterfeit coins. It's very tough to actually break someone's heart and let them know that their coin's not real. But we do have ways to test them. Diagnostics can be done by actually weighing the coin. Or we actually have an x-ray analyzer, where we actually x-ray the coin to see the composition of the coins we're looking at. I was uh, really disappointed. They told me that this coin could be worth $200,000 and we find out it's a fake and it just, it's just a bummer, you know. <laughs> I, uh, you know, received some information from a customer who uh, said that he got a package from us that was empty, simply an empty box. I just, I don't know what the guy's deal is, man. We're just oh. gonna have to deal with this. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, that guy's here. Oh my gosh. Hey, all right. All right, let's go. Look, now I understand how upset I get when I don't get what I want. Uh, but looking at this guy right now, I'm just a little nervous about what's gonna happen at this point. I mean, what can I do other than deal with it, right? Hey, how you doing? I'm uh, I'm Ray. How's it going, David? This is Andrew. Andrew. Nice to meet you. Uh, first and foremost, I wanted to apologize. I know the situation was a little odd. Uh, yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Um, I have to apologize first because uh, it was our, actually our fault. I sent you that nasty email. I'm very sorry. Right. It's embarrassing to come in and have to humble myself to tell you. But we actually found the coin. It ended up in our dinner salad. Who knows how, who knows why, but... Sorry, did you say it ended up in your salad? Yeah, dinner salad. <laughs> His salad. He lost the coin in his salad. Now, again, I was a little worried about approaching this guy, and uh, to be quite honest with you, I've never experienced something like this before. Uh, never had, you know, a mishap where I've put coins in my salad. I just, 
I really don't even know what to say at this point. He's, you know, he's obviously found his coin. We're good to go. I now just have to watch out for it when it comes back from damage from the acid and his dressing, I guess. I, I don't know. Fortunately, neither one of us, uh, me or my wife, ate it, so it's right. good. we're good. We still have it. <laughs> okay. But you guys always take real good care of us. I feel really embarrassed that we sent the email, and uh, just want to come in and say I'm sorry, and you know, that we can continue to do business with it. You know, that's great, man. Thank, I mean, thanks for coming in. We appreciate that. I mean, that's that's huge, um, and I'm glad you didn't eat it. All right. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're worth a lot more, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> thanks, guys. It's been a hell of a day at Sahara Coins. We dealt with a lot of interesting things, but that's the way it goes here. So today it's been great. We went ahead and took care of all the customers. We hung the email up regarding the salad, just so it's a good laugh for everybody in the future. All the guys are doing great, and we're golden. Is that new memo up? No, actually this is uh, the email from the salad thing. It's just, it's way too good to not share with all you guys all the time. So, <laughs> all right. It's right here if you guys want to read it. Okay.